Hello everyone, welcome back to this YouTube channel, The Immigration Gross. This is Jender Rover. Uh, there were so many complaints uh, related to not picking the calls and uh, delay of SOP, so I am making this video. I don't know how many of you know that uh, I have shifted to uh, Victoria. There is a small town near Victoria, which is Brentwood Bay. So my wife, my wife Anjali, she has got uh, a job for her for for our PR. Actually, uh, we shifted here and uh, she got uh, a job in restaurant so that's why we are uh, shifted uh, to victoria we are here uh, i didn't announce it because i wanted to settle here uh, before announcing so that if someone wants to come here to meet uh, uh, can come but uh, uh, it's it's kind of getting difficult to settle here so that's why i'm making this video uh, uh, initially when we when we shifted from edmonton to victoria uh, that time uh, uh, we were really settled there. I was working fine and uh, apartment and everything. Everything was really well settled. Anjali's job was uh, was really settled as well. But uh, getting a PR, uh, uh, it was a bit more expensive there for us. Uh, the LMIA that we required to buy there, uh, uh, it was costly. So uh, to decrease that cost, uh, we shifted to Victoria and uh, eventually there are other things as well which we found that uh, uh, we can shift here in victoria and uh, we we can settle here as well later on so it's not not really fixed but at least for pr we are here but after coming here there are so many things which got disturbed in last one month so much of disturbance which was not uh, kind of uh, we thought of uh, so uh, there were so there there were so many complaints when we shifted here related to noise and all. So uh, during night time we cannot uh, speak uh, and when when I talk on call or uh, when I make any video at night I used to make videos at night and uh, I used to be with my India team entire team and uh, on the calls all the time on Indian timings I used to do that uh, but uh, when I was speaking or even the kids were. Uh, uh, running around or speaking so there were so many complaints even we got uh, a notice two notices in first uh, two weeks which was really disturbing so I couldn't even uh, figure out uh, what time to sleep and what time to work so till now I am in the process of uh, actually uh, figuring it out how to uh, adjust my timings uh, I am exactly uh, kind of 12 hours behind India time uh, but uh, uh, again, uh, I am ready to uh, work at night, but I don't know how to adjust the volume and all. So we actually got this type of form so that we can decrease the sound. So we are doing all those kind of uh, stuff uh, in initial few days. It was really disturbing. And uh, right now as well, uh, if we speak loudly, there are complaints again and again. In daytime, we can do it, but nighttime, it is uh, quite disturbing. I need to put more uh, more of these kind of things here so that uh, uh, our sound gets decreased, uh, at least during nighttime. In daytime, it is fine. In nighttime, uh, uh, we cannot speak uh, loudly or I cannot speak because even if I speak on normal volume, it, it actually uh, seems like a loud volume at night. So uh, it was quite disturbing. Uh, in Edmonton, I was really uh, free from those things. I never even, no one actually complained about it because uh, our home, uh, it had a carpet and all those things and uh, it was a bi-level apartment. So there, there was no issue of uh, uh, noise and all uh, because we had both the uh, floors with us. Uh, but here, this is not the scenario. Uh, people uh, on uh, next floor upper floor uh, they made complaint uh, about the noise initially so it was quite disturbing initially and we were not really uh, kind of uh, used to it and uh, it disturbed uh, the entire system uh, when we came here uh, then sitting so i don't have my table chair i i uh, so the entire system of work got disturbed then to sleep i uh, till now we haven't got uh, it's been like uh, approximately 26 27 days we haven't got our stuff from edmonton uh, we hired one agency to ship everything here uh, beddings and all so uh, i am unable to sleep properly that is happening so we got a uh, bed actually uh, my family is using it uh, we got it temporarily that okay we can get our stuff in three four five seven days 
uh, temporarily we got uh, one bed but it is not enough for all of us so uh, that was a problem and now uh, this uh, we got it uh, from somewhere uh, nearby and this is my bed for now uh, and yesterday i got this rug uh, i bought it so uh, i try to sleep here but uh, i couldn't sleep well uh, and uh, my sleep is also getting disturbed uh, in last uh, like the entire time i couldn't sleep properly because of uh, uh, beds i don't want to buy more because i already have two beds so if i buy more then i don't know what, what i am going to do with the new one so uh, i am still expecting that i should get my stuff quickly so that uh, uh, i can adjust everything and uh, sleep properly uh, that is also one problem i used to sleep like 6 hours 7 hours uh, in most days and it was enough for, enough for me and i could work for rest of the time but uh, here even even after sleeping for longer number of hours uh, it i am feeling restless so it is a problem for me it is happening like uh, i'm not getting proper sleep so that that's a problem happening so this is the bed for me uh, right now i just uh, try to fit in and uh, i just try to sleep here yesterday i tried to sleep there here as well so uh, it's a problem happening right now so so many things i bought a car as well uh, from a friend here so uh, i didn't bought i didn't buy it but uh, he just uh, gave his car to me and transferred that red one is uh, the car and that transfer process and uh, getting the license it is actually uh, too much for me <laughs> to uh, i never did this kind of uh, this kind of things in edmonton uh, it was not required i didn't have a car there so that as well then uh, uh, admission in school it was quite easy when we were in edmonton we just uh, we could do it in uh, two days and uh, my daughter got admission there here we till now we are unable to uh, fix this problem of getting admission and we are sending emails again and again the process is quite cumbersome and we are unable to figure out uh, uh, this part as well here in bc so things are quite complex here and uh, quite costly quite complex uh, we have exhausted all of our uh, savings so that's also a problem uh, but but anyway <laughs> the problem with the delay in process and all those things uh, it is happening due to the disturbance that happened uh, as we shifted here i'm trying to uh, fix these things uh, uh, the work that i need to manage so i'm trying to at least uh, complete the work sops and other things and call uh, yes i am missing the calls and unable to call everyone back and uh, my sister who was managing uh, my whatsapp and all uh, she just uh, moved to uh, Georgia for her MBBS and uh, she was doing her online classes. Uh, she was in uh, uh, Ukraine earlier. After the war she came back to India and uh, she started managing my WhatsApp and she also shifted to Georgia uh, recently in this month only. So all the things go together that disturb the entire system and she is also settling trying to settle there in Georgia and they'll start, she will start working on uh, WhatsApp as well. So I'm trying to figure out how to sort all those things, get all, everything together and uh, start working properly. Uh, hopefully I'll get my stuff uh, quickly in 3-4 days and then I'll settle everything. Uh, at least my work corner should be settled and I should get uh, beddings and all that that is really required so that uh, we can sleep properly, set up the entire time, get back to work on time and work for proper number of hours. So that is the requirement right now. Uh, hopefully, uh, uh, by the end of this month, uh, uh, we should be able to settle all those things. And I should not be able to. I should not be able to. Uh, I should not be required to sleep on this, uh, because uh, uh, for for resting and all, uh, it's fine. But not to sleep uh, for the entire night. <laughs> so this is quite disturbing. Uh, sorry for the entire uh, uh, chaos, whatever is happening, and uh, sorry for. Uh, and uh, thank you so much for uh, still uh, being with me and being so supportive and uh, uh, whatever SOPs are pending I have uh, uh, written the names uh, so I'll try to finish I'll try to finish them quickly so I have written the names and all whatever is pending so hopefully uh, it will be done I am uh, getting back to work 
as much as possible i'm trying to do as much as possible trying to push myself uh, but sometimes it is like uh, your mind your body it just says that no <laughs> we, we can't do so mm, sorry sorry for everything and uh, sorry for delays but uh, everything will be done don't worry uh, we have time in september intake and uh, i'll try to finish all the sops and uh, i'll try to call back whatever calls are pending so i'll try to do it uh, as soon as possible try to figure out the solutions for for the issues and try to get settled here and hopefully i get my stuff quickly so that uh, uh, once i get my stuff uh, uh, i'll be able to settle more quickly get proper sleep and rest and then uh, we'll be able to work properly as i was doing in, Ad in edmonton so things uh, take time but uh, yeah i'm trying to push myself to sort these things uh, things are new for me here things are new for anjali as well uh for for my kids as well everything is new so uh, things take time when you shift to a new place uh, i hope uh, you guys will be able to understand and uh, thank you so much for supporting me thank you so much for trusting and uh, many congratulations to people who have got visa i couldn't make videos i just keep opening the tabs to make videos but i am unable to do it uh, due to the other obligations i hope you you guys will be able to understand those things thank you so much